I admit it. I admit it. While I was getting ready to do the broadcast here, Mercedes was laughing and snickering and pointing out to some other people. While I was digging into my little chocolate energy pouch over here because my delicious chocolate polyphenol antioxidants are the mood enhancement that I need when I'm dealing with tough subjects like today, going over the political results of the last week and doing a forensic analysis of exactly what is killing us and how to cure us. My chewy chocolate energies brought me back into harmony with my natural creative self, and suddenly I had the mental clarity that I needed in order to deliver a tough message, I would say in an optimistic way. You want to renew your strength? You want to enjoy what it's like to have a surge of, well, energy without, like, caffeinated jitters? I want you to go to lancewallet.com forward slash energy and join me as uh, you yourself unwrap 30 individually wrapped dark chocolate delicious treats with pure chocolate energy. Well, that's what I have to say, Mercedes. What do you say? Let's get into the show. That's what I say. Let's get into the show. You're going to love it. Welcome to the Lance Wall Now show. And um, I'm sitting here today. Look at me. I look I look like I'm sitting in the, in the middle of, like I'm doing those Macy parades where you've got earmuffs on. But I'm cold. It's it's part of like my Jewish heritage. I think I always have a draft on my neck, and it's winter, and it feels cold in the studio, even though I'm indoors. So Mercedes Sparks, glad you could be with me today. So happy to be here, Lance. All right, let's talk about mm -hmm. what in the world happened this week uh, during the election. I, I I I'll tell you the truth. I did a whole broadcast yesterday. And it was an hour of intense uh, work, but I hadn't had a chance to really digest the essence of it. And so now it's a couple of days later. I want to share with you some of my reflections. For first of all, once again, like midterms last year, the polling indicated a tremendous victory as it ought to happen for the opposite party. Normally, when a presidential election happens, the midterms goes to the other side. It's kind of like this cosmic yin and yang, the balance of Democrats and Republicans. They, the last time we had the uh, midterms, there was this anticipation of a red wave. And we were all kind of carried away with optimism. It, things which, uh, Who could justify Afghanistan's disastrous withdrawal? $32 trillion of debt, a trillion and a half a year, overdrawn of the bank account. War in Ukraine, war in the Middle East. I mean, hemorrhaging at the border, cities melting down, crime on the rise, campus insanity, Hamas celebrations at, at our Ivy League schools. Listen, if there was ever an apocalyptic time for a meltdown and a backlash, it's politically right now. And so the, I think the, 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 the polling was picking up now, as it did in the last midterm cycle on, this would be the natural, healthy adjustment. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. In Ohio, Ohio folks, they had uh, they voted for legalizing weed. I mean, it's really making progress up there, plus codifying abortion as a constitutional right. By the way, I'm in meetings with Christians all the time where we're still high-fiving each other. Oh, we're praying through Roe v. Wade. We got Roe v. Wade. I don't think we're I don't think we get what we're talking about. The fact that Roe v. Wade happened and 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 we got the victory in the Supreme Court made the trial now goes to every neighborhood. And we're losing. We're losing the argument there. And by the way, don't come at me when Lance, the elections are all rigged. You can't trust the machines, blah, blah, blah. Because you know what that tells me? That tells me that if you believe that, here's the two dangers of that. It's all rigged, Lance. One, if you believe it, you won't vote. And that may be what happened. We only had 35% of us turn out. We only had 35% turnout, maybe because a whole bunch of people think, what difference does it make? Not every election, every precinct, in every county, in every, in every seat is going to be able to be controlled by centralized planning. Every state has their own hurdles to go through, and many states have changed the way the votes are tabulated. Don't buy the excuse, we won it, but they stole it, especially if you lose it and you're not learning from your, learning from your failure. See, the, the good thing about what happened this week is that it helped us 
test where we're vulnerable for 2024. Therefore, we can, we can learn from this. It's a benefit. Don't believe the polls if they say optimistically you're winning. You may not be winning. Ohio is one of seven states now that have taken the Christian prayer victory at the Supreme Court and beat them over the head at the state level saying our revenge will be constitutionally. We're going to make it a right in our state. We're going to block you. And, and I'll tell you what, our messaging is el sucky mm -hmm. in terms of how we're pushing back on this. The politicians are awkward and flat-footed. This isn't their issue. Many of them are adding it to what they got to say because without it, they're not going to get the evangelical and the pro-life vote. So they're not warriors on the issue. They're, and they're not scripted properly because the RNC, we're going to talk more about that, our great Republican coaching team isn't telling them what to say because they're too busy drinking their Manhattans and trying to get interviews with Lester Holt after debates. That's another subject. Virginia state legislator. We lost it. Flip Democrat. What happened there with Yunkin? Wasn't Yunkin the great, the great, uh, you know, I was going to say the great white hope, but I guess he was. He was the great right hope for displacing Trump because he's popular. He's a governor. He came in. Well, Yunkin, uh, who got in because, because he rallied the exasperated parents against McCollum and the institution of the unionized school system telling the parents your children belong to us not you and he came in boom and he knocked that thing back he got elected governor well he continued on his campaign for pro family pro parents pro life and lost the legislator hmm. do you have any ideas about what happened there mercedes no i'm interested you're on a roll i don't want to ruin it with anything you're on fire scotty's on fire I'm telling you, I had, I had, it took me a little while to digest what happened, but there again, I don't want to hear about the uh, election. No, how about this? When you see 34 groups on Harvard campus come out a day after Hamas attacks the Jewish people in Israel, while they're still tagging the bodies and figuring out who's hostage, 34. Ivy League school groups come out with a thousand students cheering for Hamas. Don't tell me that's a voting problem. That's an education problem. We're educating our kids wrong. And they vote. The, the, the urban, uh, white, college-educated, liberal female voter overwhelmingly is voting the pro-choice Barbie ticket. So there are whole swaths of American populace that, are, that aren't even 50-50. They're 70-30. That's how come the country is, like Elijah said, at the time when Jezebel's false prophets dominated government, media, religion, education, and entertainment in Israel. He said the crowd was halting between two opinions— Either Baal is God or Jehovah is God, but you, you're not going to be able to go forward having both. One or the other is going to take over the country. We're at a Lincoln moment, folks. He said, I do not believe for a moment that the nation can continue half slave and half free. We will either all be slave or we will all be free if we can't continue being part. And I'll tell you, America's getting to the point where we're either going to have a reformation and a moral awakening that awakens us to the pragmatics of moral wisdom. Men are men, women are women, and children should not be targeted by pharmaceuticals and gay activists and trans activists in order to cause the doubt in their head that maybe they're in the wrong body, to put them on a lifelong dependency on pharmaceuticals, money spent for counselors and businesses, that are cannibalizing children when they're the most vulnerable while in schools between K through 12, one-fourth of them. By the time they're hitting 15, they're already discussing their transition out of their body into another body, decisions that many of them and most of them will regret by the time they're in their 20s. That's what we're finding out now. How did Virginia get lost well, you're going to tell me it's a largely Democrat state. Okay. 
Youngkin, even though Fox News is, you know, beefing him up as the future, you know, if Trump gets locked up, somehow, you know, they strike uh, uh, lightning strikes and he ends up getting incarcerated. This is what DeSantis is telling his supporters. He said, I know I'm not making it in the polls right now, but I am going to make it when Trump, Trump's not coming out of this thing. They're going to lock him up. The left cannot allow him to run. And then they thought, well, Yunkin would be the guy on the top of the ticket. More moderate, wears a vest, easier to get along with, distance himself from Trump. Well, he lost Virginia, and with that, he lost that uh, the, the, the luster that was on his star as the deliverer for the rest of us. Ohio, like I said, where were the, where's the church in Ohio? We got some of the strongest churches in America in Ohio. I know they're upset today, but I'm telling you something. We're not influencing Ohio. Ohio Ohio's going in the wrong direction. Kentucky, Mercedes, they had an African-American conservative endorsed by Trump who, in a state that Trump took by 20 points, and a Democrat won the governorship the second year in a row against a black conservative rising star in the Republican Party. It's, it's, and nobody's been taught. It's always race when the left does it. Mm. But when it's Republicans, they don't like to play the race card. But I was pointing out, how does a Democrat win against a, a African-American, educated, articulate, conservative advocate for pro-life and limited budget? How does that happen? Well, they rig <laughs> I don't think so. Kentucky also, if I'm not mistaken, codified their constitutional right to an abortion, mm. the first state to do so. I'm going to tell you something. I don't think the left is stronger than us. I don't think we're as well organized, focused, or talented as we need to be. I think our messaging isn't strong. I think our grassroots game is disjointed. And to a great extent, I say that the pulpits of America are not even producing an urgency for the hour we're in. They're like what the Bible in the Old Testament calls dumb dogs that cannot bark. That refers to the sheepdog, sees a wolf coming. Woof, woof. You're supposed to warn the people. Instead, we ignore what's going on out there and just focus on what's going on in here because we don't want to be divisive and get caught up in political things. Consequently, the church is asleep. And, the, uh, and the, the cities and the state and the nation is in danger in 2024. There's hope. We'll come right back. I want to take a moment to talk about the volatile financial time that we're in. And I want you to empower yourself with knowledge. My people perish for lack of knowledge, the Bible says. Visit lancewanlaw.com forward slash birch and get a free information kit. Consider discussing how to shift your 401k or your retirement account into a tax-sheltered gold and silver account. Why don't you go to lancewellnow.com forward slash birch right now and take action for a secure future. All right, well, what's the good news here, Mercedes? The good news is that the wise man sees trouble and hides himself. Mm. The wise man sees trouble and prepares. You see, I think that these losses we had in Ohio and Virginia and Kentucky uh, in New Jersey, we'll cover, uh, that all of them uh, is, a, is, is a statement regarding how we cannot afford to, uh, to be complacent. Mm. And, and, and I'm going to talk about the role of the RNC because you're going to hear a lot more people coming out about this. The Democrats, with their billionaire donors, their talented consultants, their lock-in on the unions, on academia, on social media, uh, I mean, did you see the ad that was running, in, in particular in Virginia, with the Barbie women, the pink ladies, all for the pro, pro choice? No. All, all I think I was. There, I think they're called they're Swifties. I think they had a Taylor Swift, uh, mm. you know, uh, walk on or something or something mm. like that. Taylor Swift is going to probably, with her Swifty movement, uh, I think she put on a uh, rock the vote kind of get out the vote type thing on her website. Millions of girls are going to copy whatever. And when she comes out endorsing, you know, um, handsome Newsom or whoever, yeah, uh, you can just imagine all the little girls going but with Taylor. I saw a really funny meme about that because it said, you know, and it's a picture of Taylor Swift, and it says like, 
writes countless songs about her poor taste in men, endorses Joe Biden. And it's like, if she's endorsing a dude, like she doesn't have a great track record based off of her music. But anyways, well, that's the ladies if, will get it. If, you didn't uh, laugh, but the ladies watching no, I, will I, get it. I mean, I caught the irony there, but I haven't. I never was a Swifty, so. But to your point, a lot of people are. I mean, my my daughter listens to some of her music. She loves her. You I told know, me she wants I, to go to the concert. I know, but like I pause it and we talk about what she's saying. You know, hi, I'm the problem. It's me. I'm like, that's not a good confession. You know, and and you have to talk because a lot of it's ven vengeful stuff. So we talk about like what is the spirit behind this music. Anywho, not to get you off track, but I understand the predicament. But the left always does this. They always use media. I mean, the thing about when the pandemic the pandemic was happening. And all these actors come out like, you got to get facts. Like, I care if Robert De Niro tells me to get facts or not. Anyhow. Well, that's, and that's the, that's the one hope celebrity endorsements are typically ineffective, mm -hmm. except when it comes to children and their pop idols. Yeah. That might be the exception. So anyway, the Kentucky defeat. Now, of course, they're, they're, they're cheering on the governor there as a rising star for the presidency because he was able to win in Trump country, 20 points. And by the way, Trump endorsed the guy who was running against him, who lost. Um, now, what, what am I hearing? I got limited information on this, but I'm processing it just like you. But I'm telling everything I'm telling you is factual. So, but we got to be careful what conclusions we come to. I'm giving you the facts, but let's be careful about the conclusions. One of the things that I'm hearing is that the billionaire class, millionaire class donors bumped off a considerable number of MAGA candidates in the primaries hmm. when they were rising up. So the governor that might have been able to win, that's the theoretically, right? Hmm. Or the legislators that might have got elected were um, were primaried and were replaced with more moderate, more, um, more uh, you know, Jeb Bush, you know, Mitt Romney mm -hmm. type, um, Youngkin mm -hmm. type, toler tolerable, Repub yeah. Karl Rove Republicans. Now, I got to check that out. Because I find that the weakness there is these were legislative, these were on 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 ballot issues, these were on things other than personality. Hmm. So I can't say that the problem is candidates because it always comes down to these things, folks. Just I want you to make a note of this. I'm learning it with you, but we got to get this down this year. Comes down to money. Yes, it does because money can buy visibility, impressions, messaging or attacking the other person. Um, it comes down to organization in terms of who, what's your foot soul? How many people do you have working for your organization uh, you know, at a local level? It comes down to messaging, which is what is your answer when they say, you're against a woman's right to choose it. By the way, they use the word abortion. They never would use it before. Mm -hmm. They would use about you know choice, 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 a woman's choice, health choice. Now they're flat out. We're so decayed in our culture. It's like, abortion they use the word that is the most offensive mm -hmm. and wrap themselves around and say ah we've redefined it as associated with a woman's right to choose mm -hmm. the fourth category is the mess is not just the messaging you got to get the messaging right especially on the pro-life side but you got to have to get the candidate right if you have an uninspiring candidate if you don't have the MAGA will not turn up when MAGA is not clearly understanding the issue and I think that was a large part of this. I think Trump still has a very dedicated constituency. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's class. The proof is he's leading in the, you know, by 55 points or so. He's at 55 anyway, over mm -hmm. got five of the people running. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no competition. Yeah. But if we don't have the money, the organization, the messaging and the candidate, then we don't have this critical thing. G O T V getting out the vote. First time I saw this, someone sent me a memo when I was a novice, I wrote, go TV. <laughs> What's go TV? It's get out the vote. Yeah. So you're not going to get the vote out if people aren't motivated. And, and I'm going to say something. The left is motivated over this abortion issue where I'm afraid that the Christians that uh, think they've got a victory there aren't politically engaged. I mean, I guarantee a lot of my folks that listen to me, and it's a frustration I've got, they'll spend more time listening to trending prophetic breadcrumbs and weird Q Anon conspiracy trails and they'll be wrapped around Elon Musk and 5G software and I am an vaccine manipulation of your DNA 
And uh, is Biden really there? Is it a body double? I mean, there's crazy stuff. I know. It's like you're not you're not paying attention to the legislative loss in New Jersey, are you? Because the Democrats just took over the New Jersey legislature. No, because you're out there in planet Neptune out there floating around the cosmos. Hmm. The New Jersey legislators, big win for the Democrats. They took Kentucky governorship. They took the legislative in Virginia. They took the weed bill. They're going to be getting higher than a kite out there in Ohio while they're <laughs> pushing their abortion agenda because they got a constitution. This isn't an inspiring trend when Biden and the Democrats are so absolutely disastrously criminally weak. Hmm. Therefore, 2024, what's the solution? It all comes down to leadership. It's like John Maxwell says, leadership is always the problem, and leadership is always the solution. That's why in my companies, I always turn to Mercedes when things aren't working out right, and I say, leadership is the problem. And then she turns around to me and she says, whose name is on the top of those documents? <laughs> it's my name. Then she throws it back on me. <laughs> Mastery in the art of jujitsu. Just when I have her, exactly in the level of accountability I need, she flips it back and makes me accountable. I just think leadership, when it's always the solution, is my leadership. And then leadership, <laughs> it's always the problem, is your leadership. No, that's not. That's not no. what I'm trying to communicate. Oh, okay. So what I want to say is leadership's always the problem. Leadership is the solution. So I want to go to... How is it we lost in uh, 2018 for the midterms? We lost in 2020 with the election. For whatever reason, I'm going to say, say election fraud. Go ahead. Put it there if you want to say it. Uh, now let's go ahead and say what just happened in 2022. Hmm. Um, we, we squeaked out a bear victory with a red tsunami. We got a pink trickle and six or seven names instead of like we were looking for 30, 40, or 50. That wasn't a huge victory. It was barely survival. And then we have 2023. And we come out with this trouncing. You know what it tells me? It tells me that Ronna McDaniel and the RNC may be nice, may be likable, but they are incompetent. When you have a CEO that in four, four, you know, provident, provident law statements is losing money with a company that can win, you fire them, you replace them. This is Donald Trump's call. Donald Trump stood by McCarthy. Donna, Donald Trump stood by Ronna McDaniel, who is Mitt Romney's niece, right? I'm telling you something. They are not focused on what they've got to do. They should be looking at data, just like our friend John Graves does. Mm -hmm. We should be doing data analysis on the 20 key counties that are going to determine the future of the United States. There's 3,143 counties, only 20 are going to determine the future. We should, they should be zeroing in on data analysis of low inclination voters, Republicans that aren't showing up to vote, just like happened right now. We found out they didn't show up. And we should be having a ground game. Ground game means lots of volunteers, lots of volunteers and paid staff that go out like Turning Point to go out and contact these low propensity voters. I go after the low propensity Christian voters. I go after them because their pastors are culpable for the disease that is in their apathy. Mm -hmm. But I want to go wake them up. So we need to get that data from John Graves and other sources. And then I got to get grassroots soldiers out there. If you're listening to me now, folks, I'm giving you the plan we're looking into to save America. I would get that data. I get the ground game. I would go to the low propensity Christian voters. I would do some ballot work to see a unit. Maybe you don't want to go. I'll pick up the ballot. I'm going to qualify to pick up the ballot. I'm going to find out what the state rules are in my state. But we're going to come by and pick up the ballot. We're going to get your vote in there so that your vote is going to count. And I would do everything I could <clears throat> to make sure that between the data, the targeting, we, that we're harvesting during it's like it's like a biblical metaphor we're putting the net over and catching as many fish as we can mm -hmm. in the 20 counties we need to go to in the seven states where the election is going to be decided because the rnc which had like 600 million dollars worth of money at one point is not doing it they're living in four-star hotels drinking their margaritas hanging out doing dumb debates that aren't going to make a difference they should be shutting down the debates 
put all your money into defending Trump from the lawyers that are trying to lock him up for 700 years and do a massive PR campaign to expose the corruption of the Democrats, the incompetence of their foreign policy, and the debt that we're about to drown in with $35 trillion in 2024. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Bye-bye. I'm excited to announce that we're having our biggest Christmas sale ever. You get our brand new six piece My Towels for only $29.98, or rejuvenate your bed with a My Pillow mattress topper as low as $99.99. Or how about My Pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98? There's something for everyone duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, and so much more. Well, I know my pillow products make for the perfect Christmas gifts, so I'm going to extend my money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024. So go to mypillow.com now or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get huge discounts on all my pillow products. For example, you get our six piece towels for only $29.98, or get your very own my pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98. It's our biggest Christmas sale ever. Get all your shopping done now while quantities last. Go to MyPillow.com and use promo code Lance to save big on all of Mike's best products. That's promo code Lance. Did you enjoy this latest episode? Please remember to share it with your friends because the more knowledge you have, the better equipped you are to navigate the world.